Recently, GAN released their newest flagship 3x3, the GAN 11M Pro, and it costs $70. The question is, is it worth the $70? Hey guys, what's up? It's Evicuber, and in this video, we will be reviewing the GAN 11M Pro UV Coated Edition. In this review, I will be talking about the cube's basic specs, physical features and hardware, turning, and my setup for the cube. The basic specs of the cube, this cube is 56mm which is a standard size for a 3x3. This cube weighs about 63 grams, which is extremely light, and if this isn't light to you, I don't know what is. This cube costs about $64 to $70 which is jaw dropping depending on what version you're getting. And the shades on this cube is GAN's full bright shades which is pleasing to look at. Speaking of the price, the packaging on the other hand looks premium and it comes with a hard box with a lot of stuff inside so big props to GAN on that one. The versions available are frosted white, frosted black, UV coated, and soft. Frosted is basically just frosted plastic. We've seen it in most of the cubes nowadays, so nothing too interesting about that. For the soft plastic, I have no idea what it feels like, but I've heard it almost feels like rubber. And I actually had a chance to talk to someone, and he told me it almost feels like the YJ pocket timer so if you have one of those it definitely feels like that. In fact I have the UV coated version and you probably have the question in mind what does it feel like? Basically it's a lot stickier and glossier than a normal stickerless cube for it to have a better grip and it's scratch resistant. This cube does support GAN's new dual adjustment system and this is actually the first ever cube to have core magnets. Basically the magnets are from the corner to edge and corner to core. And the way how you adjust the magnet strength is by getting your screwdriver and there are three settings. One will bring the core magnet away from the core and three will bring it closer. So basically, 1 will be the weakest setting and 3 will be the strongest setting. There are also interchangeable magnets, but unfortunately, GAN gave me the same magnet strength, so I can't really do anything about it, but they said they'll get back to me. Now for the turning of the cube. The turning on this cube is actually phenomenal. I've never felt anything like this before. The cube has a very unique and plush feeling and it almost feels like a mixture between the Volk 3 Elite M and the 356X because it's really stable and fast and as you guys know the Volk Elite is stable and the 356X is fast and has soft plastic. Here's a sound test of the GAN 11M Pro. For corner cutting, you have nothing to worry about since this cube cuts almost anywhere and that's something you expect from a GAN cube. For me, I personally prefer stable cubes so there's less corner cutting and it's more on stability. Speaking of tensions, my setup for the cube is actually dark blue GMS set at number 2 which is the second tightest setting. and. The clicks are 4 clicks. My magnet strength, I'm using the hex ones set at number 3 which are the strongest settings. So now to answer your question, is it worth $70? I would say yes, it's worth $70 for all the customization options and yesterday I 
had trouble putting the cube down and I did almost a thousand solves in this cube and that's when you know the cube is actually really good. In fact, there are more than 24 customization options on this cube so I would say it's definitely worth it. And if you're really into cubing and looking forward on to getting better, then this cube will help you. Not only because of the customization options, it's because GAN cubes last a while. My 356X has been my main since 2018 I believe and this is the only cube that replaced it. Anyways guys, that wraps it up for my GAN 11M Pro review. I really hope you enjoyed and I hope this helps you decide whether you're getting this cube or not. If you want to see more content like this, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching guys. Bye. Bye. Bye.